What up? Carver Mojo, would you welcome? 2018 Tops Chrome Hobby Baseball, four box, number 33 for eBay coming up now. All right. Let's see what we got. That does not sound uh, appealing at all, Tomas. Uh, I must admit. You know what they say. It's hard out here for a pimp. Porzingis is healthy. The next way to bring him back slowly. Somebody... Uh, Last time I was on, I think it was Thursday, somebody mentioned that the Knicks were potentially looking to trade Porzingis. No idea why they would even consider doing that. So it's good to hear that he's healthy. Oh, dude, Tomas, I got to tell well, you know, Miami's like any other place. You got your good and you got your bad. But in Miami, there's a lot more good than there is bad. However, that good can be very bad. You know what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying. And freaking Latvia or whatever, G-Man. <laughs> How many subway breaks do I have left? I have two more subway breaks. After this. What up, Big Ten? Yeah, yeah, you know, the Dolphins doing what they do, sucking. <laughs> no, last week was our Super Bowl. Whoa, Tomas, whoa. I hear you got I hear you gotta be careful with that, Tomas. You 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 definitely you definitely wanna have a, a carry on package if you ca if you catch my drift. Balaj was nice. He had that 175 yard run for the Dolphins. And you know, we you know we're injured, we're banged up, we we blah 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 blah. We just, you know. Vikings are just a better team. And we suck on the road. So. A lot of moves got to be made. Sandy Alcantara making moves for the Marlins. Little rookie autograph right there. Sucks that Frank Gore went out. He, uh, I don't know how bad that ankle injury is, but he was on pace to, to getting over a thousand yards uh, this season. And at his age, that's pretty freaking good. Well, hopefully, he'll be back again for his next year. He is a Miami boy. So, I'm hoping he decides to stay at least one more year with us. He had, very, he had a very impressive season. Kyle Farmer, Dodgers rookie autograph. Yeah, the, the guy just loves football, man. The guy loves football. If he keeps and if he keeps it up, he's on pace to being like top three all time rusher. Which is crazy. Cause I don't know, not for nothing, but when, at least when I think of Frank Gore, I don't think of him as like a top five running back. But he's got the numbers to back it up. Trevor Bauer, Indians to seventy five. There you go, Tomas. That, that's what it's about right there. Definitely don't want to get caught right and dirty. You know what I'm saying? Little Albies action there. Probably going to take a little mini vacation to uh, to Orlando next weekend or something. A 
Ahmed Rosario, rookie Mets, negative. The CC Sabathia of the NFL. I wish I knew why you say that, uh, G man, because my <laughs> my baseball knowledge is garbage. Alright, that's one box down. Ooh, I can't wait to get to some Bowman. I also see that we got uh, some Revolution close to filling as well. And we got, we got some stuff to play with in the store. Let's see, that Revolution number one is at eight teams left. What teams are left? Ah, oh, <laughs> that'll be a stupid quick filler. The the freaking Suns are still up for grabs, so that'll that'll feel quick for sure. The Grizzlies are still there. The Kings are still there. The Knicks, the Nets, Pacers, Raptors, Thunder as well. That'll feel quick. And then number two, the other half of that's at 16. Man, this dude went in on the Bowman. So I got PYT 11 at 10, the Jumbo Full Caser. And I got another Jumbo Full Caser at 10 as well, number 12. The Jumbo number 13 is at 13. Mm, pretty sure we could do all three of those tonight. We got a Super Jumbo half case number 8 at 7 spots left. We got another half case number 9 at 11. And the number 10, the, three, the half case are there at 11 too. So I think we can get at least the first two Revolution inner cases and all of the Bowman stuff gone tonight. Still don't have any playbook. Hopefully we get that stuff tomorrow. I heard we got a, we had a shipment go to Idaho. What the heck is that about? But we'll get that figured out. We also got some other revolution in the store with the Mavericks random to the break. Nice. Those are like in the twenties. In the twenties, so I need to put some work on that. CC pitches for the Yankees, but was a rookie in 99. Can't throw heat anymore, about 280 pounds, but rarely gets hurt. Had to throw 2 million pitches in his lifetime. That's a crazy number, if that's accurate. I was watching a documentary on that. On like, I think it was like, it must have been like a sports science episode or something like that, but the, the gist of it is that it's, that's not a natural motion. You know, throwing your, your, the way pitchers do what they do. If I remember correctly, the dude said that's not a natural motion. So the fact that you're doing that for, man, that's, that's got to be what? At least 18, 19, almost 20 years. That's crazy. Yeah, maybe that's where that maybe that's where that extra weight comes in, uh, G man. And my boy really rocking that 280. You know, all that extra girth, probably helping him. Uh, I don't know. Probably helping him in some way, shape, or form. I can only imagine. <clears throat> what up, Tommy? Doing a little uh, Chrome here for eBay. Greg Allen, Indian rookie. Autograph. Nice, a gold Benintendi for the Red Sox. That's the 50. 
Oh, definitely, G Man, definitely. I think uh, Frank Gore was a little bit more impressive than that. No disrespect to Mr. Sabathia, but that's not exactly a contact sport. Especially at his position, at running back. Another Greg Allen. Rookie for the Indians. That is to four ninety nine right there. How's that Patriots Steelers game? I'm not paying that any mind. stack here, I'm sorry. We got a purple granite for the twins. That's the two ninety nine. Dude I can't I can't I can't no definitely you you got me beat there, G Man. But I'm pretty sure you could ask CC Sabathia himself if he'd rather be, you know, pitching or uh, be a running back in the NFL, and uh, be curious what he what his answer would be. What up, Jimbo? I w I would definitely rather throw 50 pitches than get tackled by three 400 pound men. And those dudes just so happen to be hyper athletes that can run, you know, a 40 yard dash in like less than five seconds. Yeah, I'd rather pitch. Now, actually pitching? Oh, dude, that's that's damn near impossible. I, I don't know how those dudes do it, man. That, that is like honestly, genuinely amazing. To be able to throw a ball a hundred miles an hour at a small ass target and be accurate with it. And not only that, but be able to like control your pitch to the point where you can curve it, slide it, hook it, do all kinds of things. Nothing but respect to that for that. Not really, G Man, I'm 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 a I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a princess, man. I am a girl. I do not like to get tackled. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Hence why I would rather pitch. <laughs> Where the ball is going, I have no idea. But I'm throwing it. Funny enough, I they tried to make me into a pitcher. Uh, back when I played like Little Pony or whatever the hell league it was when I was legit, when I was a kid. And they tried to make me a pitcher. I was no good at that. But put me in the outfield, though. I could do my thing. Yeah, exactly, man. Could you admit, bro, throwing a ball 100 miles an hour? That is ridiculous. That's why they get paid the big bucks. But anyway, Jimbo, I'm doing well, man. I can't complain. 
you know, did absolutely, well, no, I can't say I didn't, do, I didn't do anything. I played golf this weekend, a lot of it. Tyler Wade, Yankees rookie, autograph. I'm trying to become a self-taught golfer. That's that's a, a goal of mine. I want to be able to uh, to actually do 18 holes without any lessons. Whether or not I'm going to be good at it is a different story, but, you know. My man used to throw hard and reach the low 80s. Dude, that, that's impressive. That's like... That's like college level right there. Dominic Smith, Mets rookie autograph. Haven't seen you around in a while, Jimbo. You've been, uh... You've been away. That looks like a variation to me. Clay Kershaw of the Dodgers blowing some bubble gum. I guess that's why he's never going to win a championship. Y'all here blowing bubble. You need, need, need to be striking people out. Yep, Code 95. That indeed is a variation. Nice, G-Man. Remind me to ask uh, for your autograph. We got Victor Arano, Phillies rookie negative. You going to the National? Uh, next year, which is uh, in Chicago. You know you want to go, G-Man. Didn't you go to Atlantic City? Or am I just making that up in my mind? I probably am making that up in my mind. What up, Scotty K? Channel like a villain. You know how I do. You know, trying to crush through the eBay stuff. So we can get to the store and see what loveliness lies ahead. Justin Bohr, Marlins Green. That is to 99. Very nice. All right, Keen's dad, let me hear it. Let me hear it. Yeah, exactly. There you go. There it is. You know, not to rain on your parade, Keen's dad, but here comes the rain. I never really understood why people were proud of winning their division. Like, yeah, that's cool and all. But if you ain't got that ring, it don't mean a thing. Where you pull? Yeah, the only reason you were pulling for the Finns is because we played the Vikings. <laughs> I mean, not that it mattered. I hear you though, Keen's dad. I just wanted to be an asshole for a quick second. <laughs> That's awesome, though, man. Uh, remains to be seen how, the, how how well they do in the playoffs. But I got to say, with that defense, I want to say they probably got top three defense in the league. The Bears do. Let's see. In the NFC, I would probably worry about the, you know the Saints, the Rams, the Seahawks looking good right now. Yeah, but that's that's, that's a different story though. Haven't beat the Saints. Even though, even though they lost to the Cowboys, who got shut out by the Colts, you know that that doesn't 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 really work that way. Well, so Kian, uh two games left. I think 
you guys need that number one seed. Is there is there any chance of that happening? Gotcha. This is the last box. I'm almost done opening this stuff here. What up, K Wade? You know what, though, Kim's dad? I'm going to pull for your bears. Because if you guys end up winning the Super Bowl, that means we won the Super Bowl because we beat y'all earlier this year. Uh, in case you forgot about that little uh, piece, of, piece of knowledge there. Alex Mejia, he didn't forget. Rookie autograph for the Cardinals. So go Bears! <laughs> oh snap, I totally missed the autograph on top here. Victor Caratini, rookie autograph for the Cubs. Totally missed it to the last second there. Yeah, that's it for the autographs, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what else can come of this. Here. Whoa, Kian, don't get, don't count your uh, eggs before they hatch, or however that saying goes. Don't count, don't count your birds before they hatch. That makes a lot more sense. Either way, you catch my drift, man. Don't, uh, don't get too ahead of yourself. Don't want to jinx it. Corey Seager, Dodgers negative, and that's going to do it for the break. Okie dokie. Recap time. So there were two negatives, three negatives. Rosario of the Mets, Arano of the Phillies, and Seager of the Dodgers. We got Justin Bohr Marlins. 99, Granite Twins, 299, Benintendi Red Sox, 50, Bauer Indians, 75. We also got a photo variation for Clayton Kershaw of the Dodgers. And autographs, we have Caratini Cubs, Mejia Cardinals, Smith Mets, Wade Yankees, Allen Indians, not once but twice. This one's to 499, this one's not numbered. Kyle Farmer Dodgers and Sandy Alcantara of the Marlins. And that's it for the break. Thank you very much. We'll get it out to you.